I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I am California of the past. Man's history is a story of movement and a constant restless striving for something better. My father, Francisco Bautista Hernandez, and my mother, Agustina Sanchez Jimenez, were no exception to this rule. They were a part of the Spanish immigration of the early 20th century. My parents were a proud group that came to San Leandro, California. I am Pearl Hernandez Johnston, and I am very proud to tell their story. In 1920, my grandfather, Jesus Hernandez, left his wife, Isabel, and three children, my father, Francisco, Juan, and Juliana, in their home of Macotera, Spain, in pursuit of a better life. He ventured to the United States via Cuba and then settled in San Leandro. He promised to continually send them enough money to live a lot more comfortably than they had been. Jesus's ultimate goal was to go back to Spain, buy a larger plot of land to cultivate, and live out the rest of his life on his beloved Spanish soil. Jesus and Isabel wrote to one another pledging their love and devotion and desire to be together. He wrote, You can't imagine how much I miss you. If you knew, you would fly like a bird to see me. After living in San Leandro for only four months, Jesus decided that the goal of going back to Spain was unattainable. Being away from his family caused him more anguish than being poor. In September of 1920, he officially applied for their immigration. He wrote to the State Department, If my wife and my children will be admitted to the United States, I promise and guarantee to support them, provide for them, and look after them in order that they shall never become of public charge. I further promise to send my children to school until they are 16 years of age. My grandmother and her children crossed the Atlantic Ocean aboard the steamer SS Coronia on November 11, 1920. Their journey took 10 very rough days and my father was seasick the entire journey. Upon arriving at Ellis Island, the family was detained due to a lack of money to get to California. My grandmother sent a telegram to my grandfather requesting that he send $500 for more traveling expenses. In an additional letter, she wrote, I am sending you this letter because some women here are receiving an answer. Send me the money I need because I don't know how much I need and I can't talk to anybody. Nobody understands me. They tell me it costs a lot. They give us food to eat here. Don't worry about us. We are okay, thanks to God. According to my father, he had never eaten better than he did on Ellis Island. He remembered drinking coffee and putting a lot of sugar in it. It was the first time he'd ever eaten bananas. Every night he loved watching movies, even though he couldn't understand any of the English words. After a five-day train trip across the United States, the new Hernandez family arrived in San Leandro. Settling into their new home at 1175 Clark Street was joyous and disappointing. America was a big disappointment to my father. The place they were to call home consisted of three rooms, one bedroom, a living room, and a kitchen. My father often remarked on how their house was so much poorer than theirs in Spain. This new house did not have any electricity and the walls were papered with newspaper. Periodically, the walled oil lamps would get so hot that they would catch the walls on fire. Restroom facilities were located outside with one out outhouse to accommodate three families. My father's sorrow was magnified when only two weeks later his father Jesus was killed in a train accident in Oakland. This immigrant family was left alone for the second time. Returning to Spain, the only home they knew and felt comfortable in was very tempting. At the age of 13, my father attended Lincoln School. He entered kindergarten and progressed through the fifth grade in two and a half years. It was awkward attending classes at his age with such younger children, and during the summers his family would pick peas, rhubarb, and cherries in the surrounding fields. My dad recalls saying, one cherry for the bucket and one cherry for me. The need to help his family financially seemed enough incentive to make him quit school and work at the nearby cotton mill for 32 cents an hour. 
My mother, Agustina Sanchez Jimenez's story is similar in many ways. Even though my mother and father were born in the same village of Macotera, they were not to formally meet until they lived in San Leandro. My mother entered the United States via New Orleans aboard the SS Excelsior in 1919. My grandfather, Gabriel, had been living and working in the United States for a few years prior to their arrival. Their first home was on Hay Street. My mother attended St. Mary's School, which later became St. Leander's School. My mother and father's relationship grew and blossomed as they gathered with friends and family at gatherings at local parks and the Club Iberico. The Club Iberico had been founded in 1925 and served as a social and beneficial organization. It sponsored its own baseball and soccer teams. Dances were given on a monthly basis in its new building on Hay Street. Cultural activities contributed greatly to maintaining the love for the motherland, Spain. My mother and father became active in the club's men's and women's organizations, Club Iberico, Recreativo, y Beneficio, and Sociedad de Señores Agustina de Aragón. My mother and father were married in 1933 at St. Mary's Catholic Church in San Leandro. Their festive wedding was a celebration lasting two days. Even though they became very successful business and property owners, Frank and Augustina lived very simple lives. They never forgot their humble beginnings and appreciated everything that they had worked so hard for. They celebrated 59 years of marriage with two children and four grandchildren. Hopefully their legacy will live on with their seven great grandchildren, a legacy of love, a family, country, hard work, and a strong soul. El Alma. Thank you.